This game here, quite the interesting game. You have to think a lot. You have to use your brain. So many things could go wrong in such little time. But as long as you keep calm, you're collected, everything should be fine. Do you see the way she's looking at me? Are you familiar with Schrodinger's cat? Until you decide what happens, everything is happening at once. Like in Detroit. I think she likes me. It's the accent. It's definitely the accent. <clears throat> Zodiac Squad salute is King Gemini of the Zodiac Squad. No. Zodiac Squad salute is King Gemini. Welcome back to some more Detroit. We're finna go ahead and get back into the story once again. Last episode, I made a decision that I still somewhat regret. But there's no going back now. We gotta keep going. We gotta keep pushing. Hopefully, especially Marcus. Because Marcus ended up getting shot. Hopefully he's okay. And hopefully, the Alice and... Carl's future is in a jeopardy because of a decision I made with a um, very violent weapon, but I digress. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? What's going on? Oh, this is the dude we caught in the attic. How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? He ain't talking to you. Say something, goddammit! He wasn't even shook. Fuck it, I'm out of here. <laughs> he gave up. He ain't, he ain't trying to talk, y'all. I can't do it. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You can always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what? Well, well, we have to lose. Why was that funny? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Why was that funny? But I don't get why he just laughed. Anyway, let me <clears throat> let me go ahead and show old Hank how you got to do it. First of all, let me make sure there's nothing in here. What is this? What is this? What is this? Let's look at his file. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you see what you did here? Oh, I unlocked something too. See, you got to make sure you check your... I doubt there's anything else in here. Wait, I can... Oh, I can just look in the mirror. I don't know why... I don't know why I would want to do this. What the fuck is it doing now? He's saying watch it learn. That's what he's saying. Yeah, I'm looking at you. I'm staring at the side of your head. I see where your barber messed up at. It's okay though, I won't say nothing to nobody. Let me um let me just take a seat. 
Got a few questions to ask you, son. Let me, let me take a look at you. Your hair uneven. You look dusty. That's what the LED means? Oh man, oh nobody that we control self-destructs. Yeah, there's this um, more than 19 day old blood on you. He was supposed to be a housekeeper. Uh huh, what else, what is this? Is this where he got hit with the bat? Cigarette burns. Repeated marking over 16 months. This is where he got hit with the bat. Yup. Non critical damage. Alright. Now let me talk to you. Reach optimal stress for confession. So we gotta stress him out. And we unlocked everything to stress him out with. Nah, let's start with the name. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Oh yeah, that wasn't a very. I didn't ask. I didn't expect him to ask what his name was. Anyway, you're damaged. Yeah. Did the owner do that? Yeah. Well, here, stress back out. You? Stress back out. Go ahead, threaten you. You've refused to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? You better talk. Keep threatening them. You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. Yeah. Okay. Since you don't want to say nothing, I guess I'll just have to... If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! Oh, oh please don't do that. Oh, he don't like that. <laughs> he don't like that. What? Got him shook. What are they going to do to me? I want you to exaggerate this truth to the fullest extent. They're destroy me, aren't they? Oh, they're going to do more than just destroy you. They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? You stabbed the man! I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. Indeed, I was. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I can't. You stabbed a man 23 times and you can't talk? Choose approach. Can I get a... Probe his memory. Yeah, I'm not gonna probe his memory right off the bat. Let's pressure him. 28 stab wounds. 28! I said 23. You didn't wanna leave him a chance, huh? I was wrong. Did you feel anger? Hate. Stress. Keep going. Oh, keep going. He was bleeding, begging you for mercy. But you stabbed him again and again and again. Oh, please. Keep going. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Oh, please. Keep please. going. No. Show no mercy. Just say I killed oh, him. Oh, he critical. Is it that hard to say? He critical. Stop. No. Just say you killed him. Just say it! He shook. You see, he's shaking. He got the. <laughs> he tortured me every day. Up to him. I have to stress him out just for him to tell me that. I did whatever he told me, but. There was always something wrong. The blood's like a tribal mark, the way it just goes diagonally. One day. He took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt... scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I... 
Android if he got stubble. He got a better beard than I do. Knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. You notice that? I felt better. So I stabbed him again. And again. And again. And again. Until he collapsed. Nope. Yeah, keep going. And again and again and again. <laughs> Tell the truth. There was blood everywhere. Alright, let's talk about that writing first. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. Or were you writing it to convince yourself? The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. An offering? The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. Hope? Oh. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. Oh. No more threats. Why is he saying it like that, though? No more humiliation. <clears throat> Oh yeah, somebody Somebody come get his batteries He can't <laughs> RA-9 Who is RA-9? Anyway um, Trigger When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me And I never said anything It wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred, and then I knew what I had to do. Why did you hide in the attic instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. How do you make a how do you make an android with feelings and emotions and us in its own thought process? I'm done. Yeah, what they do that they laughed at me. My work here is done. That's all you gotta do. That's all it takes. It's destroying itself. Oh, he tried to commit suicide. Stop him. Stop him. Stop it, goddammit. I, I, I can't. I, I can't stop it. Uh, wait, wait. Should I intervene or should I give up? Nah. Uh. If I were to intervene, what what would have I, what would have happened? Oh, that would have made a change to the ending. Since I chose to do nothing, he smashed his head. If I chose to do something, what would have happened? Many questions that I need the answers to, but I can't find out until I finish this game. It, Anyway, who are we now? This is Kari, isn't it? Kari and Dallas.
All right. End of the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Alice trusts me? I shot her. But. We have to go. Never mind. Like, even though I feel like I shouldn't feel bad, I didn't, I didn't have the right to take. Shelter, we have nowhere to go, please. Listen, we have nowhere to go. She's exhausted and it's pouring rain. Can we just stay for a little while? This bus is going back to the depot. There's nothing I can do. We'll just go back to the depot. Well, now it's raining on her. But anyway, like I was saying, I didn't have the right to take someone's father away from them, even well, okay? someone's donor. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Is it cold too? This is Detroit. Cause she's shivering. Oh, on, she's not shivering anymore. All of a sudden. All right. What are we looking at? What's out here? There's someone over here. Let's cross the street. We'll hear Jay walk over here. Excuse me, sir. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? Excuse you! Where did it say we could go? Should we go in here? What is this? Examine. Okay. Open 24 hours, but we can't stay there. Comfortable but not discreet, and we'll need money, which we don't have, and we gotta be discreet because we we killed a man. Uncomfortable but safe. How do we get in? Very uncomfortable but discreet. Discreet is kind of what we need right now. I killed a man. Ask for help, maybe, and then the drugstore. The shop is closed. So why even give me that option? Check the motel, the house, or the parking lot. Uh, I could go in the motel, but it's not going to be discreet. I'm a murderer, so... I mean, even though you could say it was self-defense, I still killed him. And I'm an android. I wasn't allowed to have that gun in the first place. Rebuild South was destroyed. A better that's what we need to be. They need to hurry to rebuild that. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. Can cut fence with a wire cutter. Well, what will I get a wire cutter? Wait, wasn't there a place that was? Isn't there a store? Well, where is it? Is that the store over there? Oh no, let's just survey all of our now. Yeah, let's sur let me survey all the options. The parking lot was over here, right? Why does she stop walking with me? What is what is she doing? Alice, what are you doing?
you. Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. Lag here. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Who are you, though? But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. I automatically don't trust you. I don't know your name. You randomly disappeared. Yeah, I ain't listening to you. Come on, Alice. Thank you for using Detroit buses. Wait, is this... A, okay, this is the store I was looking This is the store I was looking for. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Help me. What do you want? Help. Help! I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? I'll be. Ah, that's the best yet. <sighs> Look. I don't need this. This is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. You could have just told me no. We can steal from the cash register. And then we have a gun. Alice doesn't need to see that though. No, I'm not I'm not gonna do that. It's bad enough I killed the father. It's not gonna benefit if I do that. The worst thing I'll do is steal something, especially if Alice is watching. I just unlocked something with Alice. Maybe she likes to drink these. Yeah, she gotta eat. I'm an android, so I don't think they need to. Oh man. Oh man. I don't want to, but we've been gone from the house all day. Like, the sun was still out the last time they were at that house. And if I remember correctly, Alice didn't eat any of her spaghetti because the dad flipped out immediately as soon as I started setting the table. I gotta steal it. I'm stealing it. Uh... Just add that to my, the list of things I've done wrong. Murder. Well, first of all, possession of a gun. Murder. Shoplifting. Wait, tools. The wire cutters. Yeah, take that. Steal that too. Hey. What the fuck are you doing? Put that back right now. You're really making me... Oh! He wasn't even looking. Once again, I can't pull the gun out because Alice is right there. I need, to throw, I need to just throw the gun away, to be honest. I'm, I'm going to put it back. I'll put it back. I'm keeping a candy bar though. Look, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 right. Just get the hell out of my store. Okay, maybe I should have pulled the gun on you. You are so lucky Alice is with me. I got us some food at least. It's okay, Alice. We're gonna find some place to sleep tonight. So, the motel is out of the question now. Because we can't get the money. So I was caught trying to provide for my child. Wait, doesn't that rule out the, um... Doesn't that rule out the parking lot thing over there too? Because now we don't have any wire cutters.
What is this? A washer? What would I do in here? What, what's happening? Why, why is that happening? Maybe he can help. Please help me. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Change of clothes. Okay. Whoa, they're gonna give me the option to steal the man's clothes? No, he's right there. I'm gonna at least wake him up and ask first. Then I'm gonna steal him if he says no. I can't wake him up? Come on. Or I could just dry her clothes. Right? Is that what they're suggesting I do? Why is this something I can look at? Is there something about it? Why did they give me that option then? Alice, just stay, stay, stay right there, Alice, please. I'm trying to make ends meet without having to become a a criminal. All second nature. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna read this just so I can have it done. I'm not gonna read it. Like, you know the drill. You know the drill. Oh no, the other things leave. Okay. I gotta steal the clothes. I can't leave her in. What are you doing? They're not our clothes. We need them, Alice. You need something warm, and I need to get rid of this uniform. But that's stealing. Ugh. We can't do that. You lucky I love you, okay? I'm not gonna do it. And then they still give me the option to do it anyway. No, I'm not gonna do it. I, I, why can't I wake him up? Why is that not an option? Come on, Alice. It's just... Come on, let's go. Wait, if he gets to sleep in there, why can't we? This game right here, man. What, what's the other option? I feel like I'm spending more time on this than I should. Let's try the motel anyway. No, no, we can't. I keep forgetting we can't go on the motel. <sighs> Our options are limited though, cause, let me see. We had the option to go to the parking lot. Wait, no, the parking lot's still available. We have the option to go into that, that abandoned house but we don't have the wire cutters. And we can't really go to the motel because we don't have money, but we haven't tried the motel yet. But the parking lot is still available. And that's discreet. And I can't risk um something happening to Kara then Alice is left alone. But then sleeping in an alley means something's risking. We're both at risk, really, if we just sleep in the alley. But it says it's discreet, so... Oh, we have to we might have to just go with it. What was the entrance though? How did I how did I get in there? Right here? Okay. Sleep in the abandoned car. Oh my goodness, the things that I have to do. This is what parenthood feels like that I'm definitely not ready. It looks abandoned. It's 
Stand back, Alice. Oh, my God. That's not how you unlock doors, but okay. Oh, that looks dirty. Inside, and nobody will find us here. I don't want to sleep in We both don't get a virus living in here. We don't have a lot of options, sweetheart. Uh. Okay, I'll I'll try the motel. I'll try the motel, but if that doesn't work out, then we're coming right back to the car. Oh! We can go to the, um, the other place now, the abandoned house. Leave. Alice, come on. I, I care for this girl more than I should. I need to make sure she's in... She's within my sight at all times. Um, all right, cut right here. Yes, it's just a scratch. Did I just get cut? Careful. I got cut. Come on. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Uh, oh man. Pull. I'm not gonna pull it yet. I'm trying to get a look around keep Alice in my eyesight Alice stay with me give me your hand why am I not holding her hand I'm not let me stay in my eyesight please okay there's no way I can just look in Why do I have to pull it? Why can't, why can't I just peek in? There it is, look. Alright. It looks empty. Boy, it's too tough. Then how do we get in? I don't know how we're supposed to get in. Oh, there's a door right here. Duh. And it's locked. Of course it is. Alice? Alice! Where's Alice? Wait, what are you doing? Oh, visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors. They're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. Yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna hurt you if you touch her. She's just a little girl. She's not gonna hurt you. Little girl? Yeah. She's not a little girl. What? Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe she wants to hurt Ralph. Why would she want to hurt? I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans want to hurt us. 
but Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. I swear, where's that gun? I will shoot you. Look, I'm an android too. We have nothing to be afraid of. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look, what they did to Ralph. You going something else gonna happen to you if you don't put that knife down. I'm so tempted to pull it out if he don't put this knife down. Oh Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want to shoot him. You have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him. We're not staying here. You can stay if you No, want. I'm not staying here. Ralph won't hurt you. I don't trust you. I think we'd better go. Forget that. Man. There's nowhere else to go, Alice. Either we sleep in the abandoned car or we spend the night on the street. This, like I said, we still try the motel. Because it was going to let us go in there. Because if they don't let me in, then yeah. Those last two options are what we're going to have to deal with. No Android allowed. I don't care. We're not going in? We have to find $40 and get rid of this uniform. Or go somewhere else. Oh, what? It can detect me? So as far as I know, the only, the only way we had to get $40 is now gone. Alice did want me to steal from the laundromat. We gotta sleep in the car. That's all the options. I've literally tried everything. Ralph's seen too many hard times for me to trust him. That clerk over there is just, ugh. I don't even wanna talk about him. He just got on my nerves. Alice doesn't want me to steal clothes. So to the abandoned car we go. I'm sorry. It's our last stop. Where are you? I'm not trying to lose you again, okay? Let me just hold my hand. Let me pick you up. Walk fast or something. But the speed that you're walking at is not... How did you just catch up that fast? God, I spent a long time on this chapter. Come on, we got to. Nope, we have no choice. We're better off staying, Alice. The important thing is for us to be safe. And it's just for tonight. I'm sorry. I don't want to sleep in this dirty car either, but it's not a lot of choices we have. And besides, and if anything happens, I'm sorry. Oh, she doesn't like this. Look, I'm sorry, okay? Look, there's even a conveniently placed uh, blanket here. And, and, if, and if anybody... Why didn't he ever love me? Uh, don't start that. Why was he always so upset with me? Please don't. All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. 
I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. Forever. Uh, that just tore my heart apart. How long have I even been recording? I was on that mission for quite a minute. And look how long this tree is. There were so many possibilities. And we missed a possible. Okay, whatever that thing is we missed, it apparently would have led to us sleeping in the car anyway. But, yeah, Alice, you got me to my badges right now. To the death do us part. Is that Marcus? They threw him in a landfill? Is that what this is? Diagnose. Oh. I already know he took a shot. I don't know where he got shot at. The corrupted mind palace. Optical. So they took his eye out. I see. His ear is messed up. Um, the man is in power saving mode. Theorem pump regulator. Theorem pump. That's his heart. Because the theorem is the blue blood. And a pump, you know, blood pumping. What's that? Man. How's Carl? What happened to Carl? I doubt he's gonna wanna see me again. You know, after I uh, decommissioned his son. Come on, just. Oh. What? Oh. Man. This is so weird. Like, sometimes I forget that these guys are androids. You know, we think of an android, you think of just like a regular, I found an incompatible egg. But, um, when you think of an android, you don't think of something with this much feeling and emotion. Like, you just think of something like Siri or something like that. Come on, be compatible. Cool. We taking that. Sit up. Hey, he's watching me. Oh, I was supposed to go like that, not like that. Okay. Anyway, we got our legs back, but we're still in power saving mode, low power mode. Our hearts are giving up on us. We need to replace that.
Oh yeah, his eyes are corrupted. Let's get out of here. Boom! There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. Find Jericho. Man, don't you ever come up on me like that? Well, you're not coming up on anybody. You just died. Come on. Get out of here. Look at all those hands. Just sticking out. Ah, they're moving. Stop touching me. He just pawed my head. So we gotta find an eye, ear, and a heart. Incompatible. Alright, and we can't even. You know how when I scan the um, area and it shows little yellow tags where I could do something? Since our eye is damaged, that's no longer. I can't do that anymore. Oh, well, never mind. Just found me an eye. I'll take that right out of your head real quick. You don't need it anymore. Oh! You cannot be serious. Move. Get off. I got the touchdown. Come on, give me your eye. Give me your eye. Alright, so I should be able to scan now. Alright, that's cool. It's like, get hit. it's like he has heterochromia. He has one blue eye, one green eye. Anyway, now I should be able to pinpoint things that I can interact with. No, I still don't think I can. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, she got a heart. Oh, no. You don't even have that much to live for, but fine. I sure could have just snatched your heart out with no remorse. Look at this! You just got legs walking around? You gotta be dead. Come on. Please be compatible. Incompatible. What about you? I don't need an optical unit. I already have one of those. Can somebody get their legs, please? Oh! Just for that, I'm taking something from you. You you better be compatible. I don't care if you dead or alive. Come here. I, they won't even let me. You lucky. Do you have anything? He has an ear. Good. Let me get that off of your person. Let me take that from you. Thank you. I 
could see through him. Whoa! My hero was really messed up. Oh, I can tell he's in love. Look how he's walking. Cause you know, Andros can't feel pain. That's not cause he's hurt. That's cause he he's running out of blood. Or his blood isn't getting around his body fast enough. I need a heart. Wait. Yes! Somebody get their legs! So how can I just remove my heart out and put my own heart in without, you know, going to sleep, I guess. All right, we good, right? Climb the slope, why is that locked? Or is it unlocked and it just, okay. Oh, no, I was supposed to hold on. Let's try it again. I'm learning as we go. Uh-huh. We got, we getting there. We can do this. We shall prevail. If I press the right things. I see the promised land. I may not get there with you. Marcus, you need a good shower. What do you look? What are you doing? You just gonna do one of those dramatic movie screams? No? Okay. What am I checking for? Rip what up? Wait, what's happening? That's a thing? Why is it not, why are, why is he the only one doing this? You wanted a normal life, all you had to do was take that out. I don't understand. Okay. We know that your name is Marcus. Marcus came back from the dead. Oh, he was dead? Well, he did get shot and thrown in the junkyard, so I guess he was presumed dead. And now we got my guy, Connor. He looks different close up. Well, we started off with Connor. We did everybody. Yeah, we did all three people. We'll find a man in the next episode. Um, which also might be uh, recorded today. Because I'm too into this game. To do it any other day. By the way, you see my Bulls jersey, right? You see the Bulls. 91, Rodman. The best player of all time. To me. Anyway, it's Big King Gemini. I hope you're enjoying this. Why can't I talk? It's Big King Gemini. I hope you're enjoying this game so far. It's very entertaining, very emotional. Cause I'm, I get very emotional over um, Alice and Carl. It's like my, they're like, they're right here. 
that's the wrong side they're right here so make sure you stay tuned for next episode because there will be a next episode this is going to be the first playthrough that i finish throughout its entirety you could bet on that so please like subscribe and i salute you you saw how far that was